He's bigger than you, Breeder, almost. Well, one owner car guy, and Breeder's got one of the pups in here, and she's trying to show him who's boss. But they're getting bigger, and they're awful playful, and the showing who's boss part is getting a little harder and harder for her. But then again, it's getting harder for them to crawl under the cars. So, that's a big help. Now, I don't know what it is, but she is confused, and she always humps the dogs. I don't know that she humps that much. Oh man, he, that's like some kind of reverse 6-9 type thing, man. But anyways, that is my beagle, and she is all over having a new friend to play with and showing him who's boss. Well, I was going outside to do a walk around. Give me a comment here. Is it cooler if I'm like walking out and bam, my dog comes right to my side the minute I walk to the door? And is it cooler to walk out and continue doing this and show this and just be like, well, here we are and la da da. That's what I'm gonna do this time. And it's just, I don't know, it's just the way it goes. Woo, buddy. 72 LTD. I don't even remember the year by the time I get him in. It's been three, four, five, six weeks. I love that logo on these. And I'm just gonna do a quick walk around and kind of show you this original classic. And I gotta do a little adjustment on the hood. And in the meanwhile, however, I would like to show under it. Hang on a sec here now. Is it worth the wait? Yeah, I think it is. Da 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 da! What is this bad boy? Is it? Da 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 da! It sure is. 429, baby. Ah. And there's your 429 cubic inch sticker. So my hands are a mess all the time. This thing's clean too, man. Woo, buddy. Now I have paid big money for them hubcaps. I ain't even joking. When I say big money, I mean big money. I had to go over here and make sure I had all four. I thought for sure I did. Hey, now. I think they actually, woo, man. I'm gonna leave that off. I know the keys aren't in this one. Well, that is some cool stuff. I'll have a video of this up. You know, I don't know when. It's never as soon as I want it to be. That's for dang sure. Look at these seats. Look at these door panels. Wood grain. Oh, I can tell you on the year. Yeah, 72. Barca lounger. Back seat on this. Plenty of room. We can get a console. Oh man, this thing has been tucked away in a garage. Um, it's just so clean. I like his aftermarket mat too. I think it's some kind of ECM type deal or something to that effect. I don't know what this controls or what. Hopefully it's not an ECM type deal. Huh? That is a newer stereo docked in there. Look at the headliner's even beautiful. Them things all do that. In these years. God, it's a beautiful car. Okay. Ooh, I want to see in the trunk. I'm going to get somebody to help me. I need some help out here, dang it. Okay, I got some other ones to show you back here. Now, this is really, really going to be some cool stuff. I'm here to tell you. If you're a long-time watcher of this channel, you'll know this is like you'll know this is one of my favorites and also I'll give you a quick glimpse that's it that's all you get and I'll show you that one on the way back and I had a guy ask me um, why don't you do any more what is it and then I had another guy ask me why don't you have any more do any more what is it I'll give you a glimpse of what's coming up next it's a s ha uh, gonna have to wait Back here really quickly, just to walk around, see what's happening. Got that getting organized out. I'm gonna start storing it somewhere else. This thing's going to the upholstery shop. Just wanted to do a quick 
addition on this because as they get cleaned out, I like to kind of show what's happening. Um, and plus, like I said a minute ago, just mentioning this here, talking about this, I should be able to get some help up front on what we were talking about there. I'm looking to um, get in the trunk of the LTD. And I want to do the same thing on the... Uh, I can't even say what the other one is over there that looks all weird. But if we could get the keys to them, that'd be great. And the uh, Gold Olds wagon. And that is where we're at on this. I'm going to go up and show you that S-Class now. And he'll have the keys and stuff. And we'll get in the trunk of that LTD. Have you looked in there yet, Trent? Yeah. Anything in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> He's all smiling. I love looking in trunks, man. Okay, well, this one comes with a hair pick. But I think we're going to recycle that, send it to the junkyard. It is always amazing to me how these things close with nothing. i got to get them strikers. I don't know if he knows that. Strikers? Is that what it's called? Strikers! I think so. That's a nice little Porsche. I'll make a deal on that. Any of these cars you seal, you seal, you see, give me a call. Um, I make you a deal. Ooh, buddy. Yeah. Had to take the hood off this to where I can get the, get it painted correctly. It's a lot easier. There's the front glass for that, um, and the rear glass for that 280 CE there. But, as you can see, it's all, oh man. Seriously, it is so smooth. That's what she said. This thing's ready. We're ready. Ready. This week, man, there'll be four things cranking around in here, I think. Got a lot of prep done. Prep. It takes a lot of prep. It really does. Trying to make a decision on this truck. I got to do the roof and the hood, of course. But whether or not to do this quarter panel. The way that is right there. And the way that is. And we got that chip. You start getting these speckly chips here. Can you see that? They're small, but speckly chip? What the heck is a speckly chip? I don't know, but they're gaudy. And it's like, well, do you go ahead and paint the bed too? I don't know. These little dings here. Sure would look straight, but it looks good without it. I don't know yet, haven't made the choice. Haven't made the choice. Now. I made the choice on getting this a while ago. He's got the trunk open up there already. I want to head in. Oh yeah. What have we here? I think they got anything of value. What model is it? That's well, there you go. I don't know if you heard what he just said. <laughs> I was gonna, I was still kind of teasing you along there, but Trent was helping out because I forget, and I'll have these things. Oh, which one is this? I don't remember. Um, what I'll do, give you the final answer here, as I'll let you see for yourselves, and I won't even mention what it is. You don't need to mention it. That means you know what the heck it is. If you don't know what the heck it is, bye-bye. So, there you go, man. <whistles> now, in all fairness, you probably want to know a little bit more about what it is. You might not care. That could help you identify it. And that ought to really help. Uh, 93 SEL. S600. Call it what you will. It's in great shape. Hardly anywhere on the pedals. Oh wow. Here I'll cover up part of this and show you. I have to do proper 
just to keep people Bam! Came with that. Never seen one of them before. And it is a doctor. And a legitimate thing. Kinda interesting. So that is the 600 SEL. And oh, had to check the vacuum out. How about the back? See, that is so odd. Sometimes the back works and the front don't on these. Don't know why. Well, that's that 600 SEL. Yeah, buddy. He'll be moving this one up front. I'm gonna take a video. You might have seen it. I gotta do a quick video for a guy that's very interested in it. 600 SEL, did you see the 73 Delta 88? I've had it a wheel, a wheel? I've had it a wheel too. It will be coming up very soon. It's about ready. And as is that, I'm gonna be doing something too soon. So here we come for the oddball. The oddball, well, I guess that could be construed as most anything on here. And Hey, I'm Trent. Let's clear that away right there. I'm going to have to do something with that. No, him. I'm going to have to do that car right there. And this here Saab is in cool shape. Um, very nice car. And heading towards the what is it. And I'm going to do a what is it on it to where you can kind of see. But at first glance, you might know. If you don't. Well, I'll be doing a, what is it? That's why I'm a little, oh, should I say what it is? I love the handles on these. It's an Avante 2, I believe is what the proper thing would be. M. Kelly, it's R. Kelly's brother. Man, this stuff came out of so many different kind of, a drop control system, that's cool. It just seems very, the seats seem very Ford-ish. Ford-ish, sure. The rest, a lot of it of course is Chevy-ish. Now that might have been in something totally different that I just have no clue of. Oh, battery's dead. Dang it, and then it would have been cool to start. Give me a, give me a little help. What's up? Unhappy camper? No? What a cool setup on these. And what has happened here to the hood latch? It came in like that. Did it? It just needs to be bolted back. Oh yeah. Cool. Very cool setup. 305. And this one's a pretty low mile car. Um, is there anything in the trunk of this? How do we open it? We ain't got a key? Couldn't figure, it out. Couldn't figure it out. That's definitely something you come across on my place. It's not like just hopping in a Honda or something. Ha! Um, huh, there ain't even a thing for it. Wow! Okay, let me look at something. Door panels are in the back here. Interesting. Um, the hood's there. Could be electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Yeah, I don't know on that one. That ought to be interesting. I love the roll bar looking thing in it. That's pretty slick. That's really slick. That seems a little more Camaro-ish or something. Nice car. And it will be coming up soon. Uh, original wheels? I don't think so. Double drill, they can't be. <clears throat> Got a definite unique look. Don't know how to open the trunk. 
by the time we get to even looking, you could have already answered me and says, hey dummy, it opens like this. That's cool too, make sure and subscribe and comment because I do love hearing from people about this kind of stuff. I am not a know-it-all in any way, shape, or form. See, this is the kind of thing I'll probably take in and get tightened up. We'll have to clean it up and see what we're really working with and go from there. I love the way the body roll and contour goes on this right here. Very cool. Well, not very cool. Cool, nonetheless. Um, learning how to put the hood down now. Not all the way because of that latch, but. Oh, buddy! What year? 80. 80 something. How's that? Well, that's your quick lot walk around. Would have been cool to show this one in the trunk, but won't have that opportunity. And I'm going to go ahead and show you in the trunk of this one the 72 LTD. Yeah, buddy. Nothing. Oh, another hitch thing. That's a serious hitch, too. Oh, yeah, swivel hitch. Swivel something. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Oh, wow. That's pretty high tech for 72, ain't it? That, that's the deal. Um, Nathan, 406 544 6919. You can reach me anytime. That's the newer stuff. I just did the snowmobiles and put them up. Um, we're going to bring this wagon around here right now. Um, and man, that is your once around of the lot for the day. Got the brick one over there. It's going to be coming up. Lots of unique stuff. And cheap, cheap, cheap. Wait till you see this thing cleaned up, shined up, and buffed out, buddy. Woo, man, I can't wait. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, lots of stuff coming up. Not just apples and pears and reviews and stuff. I'm just throwing that stuff in. I'm bored. I got to do something. Got to film something. Thanks for watching. www.oneownercarguy.com www.beaglespocket.com www.hardener.com We'll talk to you.